Welcome to the Steam Summer Festival. This is the third video I have now made on the Summer Steam Festival. Check the description for links to the previous videos I have made from the Steam Summer Festival. We are going to be playing a plethora of different demos today. This one looks a little creepy, but I don't think it's actually a horror game per se. It's called Ultra Strangeness, but you can try this demo out and all the other demos that I have showcased on the channel from the 16th of June to the 22nd. After that date, they will be unavailable to play, so get there while you can if you have interest in any of these games. Um, so this one is a, a surreal adventure. It's a point and click puzzler, so I'm kind of interested in this one. It's uh, different. I think this is going to be quite a short one as well. I don't think this demo is very long. And also the backgrounds and stuff, like all this clay stuff has been handmade, which is really impressive actually. I probably wouldn't be able to make the things they have made, <laughs> but that's cool. So we have this like little dude and he's got a box and inside the box are weird clay people and they just dropped a ball and it's very weird <laughs> i don't know what's going on but all right and now uh we're in a snail <laughs> i don't know what's happening but sure like that's the whole point it just looks so strange and i'm intrigued i like strange things so uh we're okay i just popped something and now we can see through the other side there's a weird tentacle i'm gonna click you okay you're like a plant thing all right then um, okay, we have a person, um, and he's sleeping, and we also have, what is this? I have no idea. Oh, a caterpillar, and, okay. <laughs> and now, is he gonna turn into a butterfly or something? Um, let me see, I, d I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna click anywhere and see what happens. Wake up, my dude, wake up. There's a weird butterfly thing, a weird creature over here. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Oh, I clicked his eyes. Um... What just came out? Did he give birth? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. What is that? Um, I feel disturbed right now. All right, he made a cup. I don't know how that's possible. What's that? Moving inside. I don't know if I want to know. Okay. Oh, a cup of tea. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. I actually don't like tea, but maybe this dude likes tea. I don't know. Do you want a cup of tea, dude? Oh my god, he's an alien. He's got really creepy eyes and stuff. All right, here, take your tea. Um, It looked green. Why was your tea green? Maybe it's green tea? I have no clue. All right, he's awake. He is alive. Eureka! What are we going to do, dude? Are we going to have some adventures? Oh my gosh, the colours are so crazy in this game. <laughs> Such craziness. All right, then. We got little green dudes. Um, and they just rolled into balls and just drifted away because that is is uh, how they roll. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> okay. What a weird world we're in. What is that? It's like little bubbles are coming out. This is so weird. But okay. Oh. I wasn't expecting the alien's bottom half to look like that. That's weird. When he walks, it like goes into an almost robe-like thing. I don't know. Like he's got tentacles. But he actually has two feet when he's standing still. Interesting. All right, let's see where we can go. Looks like we can explore over here then. Let's see if he's got any like little friends or little pals that he can talk to. Got some little peoples over in the distance. Oh, next area. Okay, where am I now? What's happening? Of course, there's no dialogue. There's no text or anything like that. So it's just up to interpretation <laughs> as to what's happening in the story here, which is quite interesting. I, I do like that style as well. It's quite interesting to work out what's actually happening here. So... We have somebody watering a plant of some kind. I honestly do not know. Let's go and say hello. Well, I mean, I don't think he's gonna say anything, but hey girl, how you doing? So there's some kind of alien craft flying. Uh, okay, so some kind of asteroid hit this ship in front of us and um, then all the people came to check it out. Uh, okay. 
I can click on this. All right. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. Sure. Have I got to go find this purple thing? Is that what you're saying? I am honestly not really sure. I can't click on her again. So I guess that's the conversation over. Oh, that little green dude over there is moving. So let's go down into this cave down here and see what's happening. <laughs> this is so strange. <laughs> Next area, here we come. Oh, there's a lot going on here. So what do we have here? We have some kind of machine over here with a cool looking dude sat by it. He looks like a, he looks like he's got a big beard. Maybe he's an, an older dude. I wonder what these people are. They are so strange looking, <laughs> but all right then. So there's a big like giant tree or a piece of coral or something in the middle, which looks really cool actually. I like that. All right, dude, uh, where are you? There you are. I thought he got lost in the tunnel for a second. Can we talk to this guy? Let's see. Uh, yeah, we're looking for this weird purple rock thing. Can you help us? Uh, what? What were those lines? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I completely understood you, dude. I 100% know what you're talking about. <laughs> I clicked on the machine and some weird blob came out. Um, right. Oh, he's got like some weird eye power. <laughs> Okay, what just happened? Did I did I just collect that blob? Did it go in my inventory? <laughs> it's kind of funny, like trying to work out what's actually happening. <laughs> I have no idea. I think I got something for your spaceship, probably. Um, there is a giant hand. Um, all right. That was the end of the demo. What? Can anyone in the comments explain to me what just happened? Because I, <laughs> I feel so lost. I don't know what what that was. I, I don't know what to think. Please help. <laughs> okay, next we are going to be playing Metropolis. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it is a sci-fi point and click adventure. We play as Henry and he's on Earth but Earth has been abandoned, I'm not sure why, and Henry is looking for a legendary lost city, apparently. So <laughs> let's jump into this. I noticed that this game doesn't seem to support controller at all. Like it's completely um, mouse and keyboard from the looks of it, but that's okay. Let's do this. So act one, discovering. Let's check this out. This should be good. I'm excited to see where this game is going to take us. Let's go. Let's dive into a new adventure. Okay, we have an adorable little squirrel looking thing here. How funny that he's actually holding a controller. Please give me one of those. <laughs> Now it's fine. I don't mind using um, keyboard and mouse. Honestly, it's fine. Okay, I have no clue what's going on here. So this must be Earth. Um, it looks like there's signposts with um, like people going into the spaceship to escape. So I'm guessing something really bad has happened here. I'm intrigued to find out more. Is that Mars? Kind of looks like Mars. Who knows? But it's a beautiful new day. The butterflies are fluttering about <laughs> and here we are so there are still humans um but the description did say that earth was abandoned so maybe we're not actually on earth i actually thought that it would take place on earth unless this is just like a safe haven or something i'm not sure like i have a lot of questions all right so we of course can like look around and um explore and stuff so i'm looking forward to seeing what we can do here so we've got some science junk let's check out the science junk so site markers hefty crates Theo Dolite in a can. I don't need this stuff today. I like how it said TM next to it as well. Okay, what's in the toolbox? Anything, my dude? It's password protected. That sucks. Perhaps I can guess it? Let's try 000. How original. Okay, well, that actually works, seriously. That should not work. Wrong. What are the chances? Yeah, like that's a pretty bad pass password for sure. A sonic shovel. Broken again. Probably total in one of his moods. You just go around breaking stuff when he's in a mood? That sucks. Okay, we have a box over here. I'm an experienced archaeologist. I'm not going to remove a relic just like that. Well, it was worth a try. That's a weird looking lamp. It's firmly fixed in the ground. Well, good to know. <laughs> Let's see what else we 
we got here? We of course have the people. Oh, um, we just knocked something over. I am sorry that I am such a vandal. I didn't mean to. I was just walking. I, di I didn't mean to. It wasn't my fault. Mmm, <laughs> the smell of recently dug up earth. It gets me emotional. Well, all right. Uh, whatever suits your fancy, I guess. I'd better look away. I don't want to cry. Are you, are you for real right now? Like what? What's wrong with you? All right, we've got some bags here. All right, let's check these out. The one in the middle is my backpack. All right, let's see what you got in there. Here's my geological chronometer. Could be useful. And somewhere around here... Hey! Oh, what's going on? Are you taking things that aren't yours? Where's my trowel? Oh no, I thought that was somebody else saying, hey, it was, it was, it was him. He, somebody took his trowel. Who was it? Who was the perpetrator? Why would I want your trowel? I don't know. <laughs> we didn't take it. I don't even understand why you keep it. It's absolute, objectively outmoded, right? Oh, okay then. It does look like technology is kind of advanced here. They got some really weird gizmos. Um, I missed some dialogue there. At least the geological chronometer was in there, right? I'll need it if I want to know how old something is. Okay then, so do we have any like inventory? Ah, okay, here we go. <laughs> I found it. So this is the geological chronometer. Cool stuff. All right, Um, I have a little eyeball symbol here. It doesn't seem that I can do much in this inventory. I don't know what this eye symbol does, to be honest with you, but okay. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. Okay, so this is just like the, the save screen. I'm gonna make a save here. Lovely, just in case, because you never know. All right, so I'm going to start talking to the actual people around here and see what they're doing. So we have Carlotta. So let's have a little talk with these two. How's the expedition going? Henry, hello. Uh, how does she see? Did you see how she like tried to blow her hair out of her face? <laughs> Uh, just let me check what you're checking. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. What was the question again? <laughs> hey, we have dialogue options and a lot of them. Wow, okay. Have you found any interesting artifacts? What are you working on? How's total? You wouldn't know the password for the toolbox. You haven't seen my trowel. Yeah, I want my trowel. Where is my trowel? Maybe you left it in your sleeping bag again. I did not take the trowel to bed with me. Why would you do that? I, I don't know. Good. You've learnt your lesson. All right. Um, I think this is supposed to be comedic. Um, but so far, it's not really connecting with me. I don't really find this very funny so far, but um, maybe it will pick up later. Maybe it's just not my sense of humor. I don't know, I just don't really find it funny, but I think it's supposed to be. <laughs> but okay then, so what are you working on? Let's find out more about what they're doing. I'm logging the data looks gathering and Micro is helping Max plumb the depths of the fissure. To tell you the truth, Henry, I'm a little overwhelmed. I don't want to mess up the first time Toto takes me on an expedition. Makes sense. Cheer up, Carlotta. You couldn't do more damage than Toto usually does himself. Right, he seems to be very clumsy. In 92, he got trapped inside a Sardinian sarcophagus he was studying. We found him fast asleep hugging the mummy. Oh my, okay then. I wonder what he would say if we brought that up to him. Really? Total told me that you were the one who got trapped and that he saved your life with his bare hands. What? He tried to convince me it was a cobra. He said she got locked in with a bunch of venomous snakes and he saved her using a tin opener. I find that hard to believe, dude, but all right. Me? I was the one who noticed he was missing. Good old Toto. Right, all right then. He likes to play the hero, but if he hadn't got stuck in that sarcophagus, we never would have found the inscription on the lid. So it was a win-win after all, I suppose. What a crazy story. So let's see if they found any interesting artifacts. Yes, a beautiful statue and a pair of vases. Luck says they could be more than 3,000 years old. Wow. You mean they're pre-cataclysmic? 
Total must be thrilled. The last time we found something this old, the vice dean took credit for the discovery while Total went to get champagne. Well, he's still not happy. He's been grumbling all morning. So stay on his good side, okay? All right then. 2880? 2880? Logged. What? Sorry, what were you saying? Hey man, that's rude. I was like in the middle of talking to you. So what's the password for the toolbox? I knew yesterday's password, but the twins change it every day. I don't even see any twins, but all right then. So how is Toto? I don't know why we just don't ask him ourself, but okay. I don't know. He's spent all day muttering at the far end of the site. I offered to help earlier, but he asked me to leave because I was breathing too loud. Oh, like Darth Vader in the background. <laughs> What's all that yammering? about back to work everybody all right then I wonder what we're trying to find here I'll be here if you need anything um I'm really glad I finally got to come out on a dig well that's cool let's see if I can talk to look himself wait a minute Henry I have to read the locator right or oh, okay I'll just wait here then whilst you read out numbers <laughs> don't mind me <laughs> if you need anything let me know um how come the toolbox is locked yes good question we always look up the kit when we're finished in the field standard practice i need some tools do you know the code kind of it's a lot of numbers to remember every day so micro and i remember half each oh my god they they've made this really complicated i know the first four numbers micro knows the rest do you want me to write them down for you don't bother i have a photographic memory but I don't I don't need to write them down but I do <laughs> it's up to you the password is five six five seven I am not gonna remember that am I oh my god okay <laughs> why is she logging it that was for me <laughs> no no that wasn't a reading oh but it's already been logged let me see that just scribble it out, it's fine. Oh, she's blushing. Bless her. Okay, let me go. I want to I want to leave now. I'd better leave them alone. At least I have half the password. Right, cool. So we managed to get something. So this dude over here is Micro. Let's see what he's doing exactly. Hi Micro, can I help? Sorry, Henry. I need to focus on Max. He's pretty deep into the fissure. Did somebody fall down there? Oh, is somebody exploring there? I could hold the rope for a while. I can't pass you the rope, but that this requires maximum concentration. I can't let go until I'm sure Max has landed safely at the bottom. But, well, all right. I mean, let's not interfere. It's so dark down there. Max is so brave. How will you know when he is on solid ground? I don't know how I'll know. That's why I'm holding on. What if you cramp up? That position doesn't look too comfortable. <laughs> Don't put these ideas in his head, man. I'm a professional. The key is to stay focused and to wiggle your toes a little. Right. Okay. Well, whatever works for you, I suppose. All right, let's talk to Cobra over here. Dijon. Say what? Is that his last name? Oh, yeah, that's his last name. Okay, that makes sense. I was confused for a second. Okay. Any news? You're late. I stayed up working really late last night. Total was sure there was a crossed shaped anomaly on the Chinese vase that we found. In the end, it turned out it was just upside down. Oh, great. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> Never mind. Have you talked with base camp? I made contact in the morning. Would you mind asking them? I'd like to know if they need anything. All right then, let's see if we can help. They say they're fine, Dijon. They're always fine. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, you don't seem too busy. Yes, she doesn't seem to be doing much. You're right. Should I be more like you? Wandering around aimlessly looking at stuff? Yes, you should. <laughs> no, no, you should stay where you are. The lighting in this part of the cave enhances your natural scowl. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, shouldn't you be cataloging the latest findings? What made you want to become an archaeologist? Do you know the password for the toolbox? Have you taken my trowel? Oh, she already said no. I don't care about your trowel. Have you seen it? No. Um, 
Okay, do you know the password for the toolbox? No, and she's very busy. She does not like small talk, apparently. What made you become an archaeologist? You don't seem very excited by the work. The rest of you get way too excited. I'm good at this job and it pays well. But why archaeology? You could make more money as a security cop. She it seems like she would fit the bill too. Honestly, I thought archaeology would involve more action. At least it gave me a chance to leave Mars. So it was Mars. It looked like Mars. I was right. I always thought you would be good in the army. Me too. They wanted me to cut my hair. So that's why she wouldn't do it. They are pretty old-fashioned, and on top of that, wait a second, are we having a friendly chat? <gasps> What's going on here? No, no way. Stop trying to butter me up. <laughs> Leave it, Cobra. The magic is gone. Okay, have you catalogued your latest findings? Don't insult me. You don't need an archaeology degree to do grunt work. Let Carlatta do it. That's mean. Then you do it. You don't look busy. This is why you and I don't talk more. Wow, that was... um. A little awkward but all right then so let's see what's going on over here we have another person over here hello this is a total I love the hair dude no no impossible what's impossible sorry I'm late total I overslept Henry please don't distract me with such trifles I must solve this riddle days of work and we're still stuck in the wrong chamber right this chamber is pretty interesting isn't it do you want to spend the rest of the dig stuck outside a door like this well no yep that's what i thought we must be in some kind of antechamber. our finds have been mostly decorative and that door it looks important precisely why don't we just knock through the wall no explosives we can't risk damaging whatever is on the other side i'll wager this door is hiding something very very important there has to be another way these inscriptions they're the key but i can't decipher them speak friend and enter no nothing works oh well uh maybe you need the password or something so i actually love points and click games but something about this one feels missing i'm not sure what it is it just there's lots of dialogue and stuff but it doesn't really feel meaningful if that makes sense that's just my opinion though i'm sure there are a lot of people out there who would really like this but so far i don't really feel connected to the world or the characters but i'll go a bit longer and uh see how this goes it might just be a slow start so our objective must be to get this door open. Who knows what's inside, but um, let's see. I want to closer look at these inscriptions. The markings, they're very crude. Okay, is there like a puzzle here? I can't be certain, but something tells me these inscriptions aren't really ancient. Maybe Toto is wasting his time. I should look for a way to test my hypothesis. What's that? Nothing, they're beautiful inscriptions. I better not say anything to Toto until I'm sure. The last thing I need is him having a meltdown. Right, okay, let's check out this lamp. It's, it's a sad lamp. They're really stuck in the ground. Yes, they do seem to be, don't they? Can I look at this lamp? Seriously, I can't pull them up. Well, you never know, it was worth a try. <laughs> pull up those lamps. I'm obsessed with those lamps. <laughs> well, not really, but they do look interesting. So uh, I need to find the other part of this um, password for the toolbox, but I'm not sure exactly how to do that. There's a water bottle here. I almost didn't see that. It's empty though, and I don't seem to be able to pick it up. This science junk actually moved when I walk past. Can I take some? I was wondering if they, they would be for something, but maybe not. I was just wondering why one fell over when I walked past. Um, so there's an entrance here. Let's see if we can like leave or do something. I don't need to go back to the camp. They need me at the excavation. Right, okay. I wonder if I can do anything with this geological chronometer. Let's like try and use it on stuff. I don't need to date it. So this like takes readings and stuff. Can't date the empty space. I don't know what you do with this. I'm not an archaeologist. <laughs> I have no clue. There's all kinds of stuff here from old stones to modern sentiments. What an archaeological mess. True. Uh, in the box. Put it back in the box. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. 
According to the geological chronometer, these relics are more than 2,000 years old. We have to take them to the university for a more thorough analysis. Right, so we got some information there. So that was cool. There's a big mushroom. What, what would this do? Can I take that? 20 months old, ready for the picking. That's quite old. Wow. Can I, can I, hold on. I, I want to get rid of this. Let's take it. This mushroom looks a little bigger than the rest. I'm going to take it. Nice. I do not know what we can do with that, but sure. Hey, Cobra, do you want a mushroom? I have a mushroom for you. It's like, no way. <laughs> I'm not giving her that mushroom, but why? No, thank you. Nobody wants my mushroom. Why don't you want my mushroom, though? Look, it's beautiful and um, blue, so take it. No, thank you. But why? It's yummy, I swear. They won't take my mushroom. Sad times, sad times. <laughs> if I give it to Toto, he says, nice mushroom. At least somebody appreciates my mushroom. Oh, I used the chronometer on the door. Let's see what this does. All right, let's see. Let's see what this does. What have we here? Interesting. Very interesting. What did you find? Did you find anything? According to these readings, the door is no more than 500 years old. That's way more modern than our other findings. It can only mean one thing. The ancient door is covered in some kind of clay sediment. And the inscriptions, they must be more recent than the door. Okay, so I wonder what's going on here. Someone carved them into the clay. The real door must be sealed closed under the surface. All right, so somebody came over and made these weird inscriptions on the door, but for what purpose? Shall I tell this guy, um, whatever this guy is called, I accidentally just clicked again. <laughs> Total, I've dated the door and it's less than 500 years old. All right, let's see what he says. Sorry? Say what? Yes, we have discovered something. Eureka! I think the real door is buried under a layer of clay. But, but what about the inscriptions? The inscriptions must be recent too. Maybe even less than 100 years old. But who could have done this? Supreme Squid! Are you sure? I used my geological chronometer. Didn't you think of that? I was getting round to it, but they seem so ancient. Perhaps I should have been more sceptical. Huh. <laughs> Well, I figured it out anyway, so that's cool. What's wrong with his eye? There's like something over his eye. I don't know. Oh, I missed that. I think they might not be inscriptions. I think they're gratings. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, this could be good news. Do you think we can clear a way through the door? Uh, I'll try. All right, we have lots of dialogue options. He's obsessed with his trowel. Yo, where's my trowel? Give it back. Your trowel? I saw it inside the binocular case near the rubble. Are you sure? Well, at first I thought it was my trowel, but then I remembered I don't use a trowel because it's the 50th century, so it must have been yours. When did you see the trowel in the binocular case? I'd just finished my morning checklist, so it couldn't have been later than 10, but when I went back at 11 o'clock, the binocular case had disappeared. I remember because I saw Cobra chewing gum. That's a weird thing to remember. Cobra never chews gum before 12. Why do they all know her habits, like, so well? Precisely. That's how I know the exact time. By 11 o'clock, the binoculars were already gone. Somebody must have moved them. I'll look in the rubble. There must be some trace. Right, okay. At least we know where to look for our trowel. So yes, it does look like technology in this world has advanced. They don't even use trowels anymore. I wonder what they use instead. All right, dude, do you know the password for the toolbox? Maybe he knows what? Carpet? It was car- no, it's where- it's numbers. <laughs> that's the password for my safe. Oh uh, yeah, that's not very helpful. All right, about the inscriptions. Yes, yes, they're not really ancient, I know. I was just going to say, spit it out. It's just that you seemed so absorbed in deciphering them. Nonsense. Ahem. <clears throat> I guess he really loves this stuff. Anyway, there's no need to go blabbering this to the others. Let's keep it between us, shall we? All right then. What, the fact that you didn't know how to open the door or find anything about the door? Is that what we are supposed to keep a secret? Okay, any idea how we can get through the door? Now that we know the inscriptions are not of value, we need some kind of regent to soften the clay and a tool to work it loose. A tool like my trowel? I was thinking of something more modern, like a thermal pick. Oh, okay, or a nano detonator. 
All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. And yes, if it makes you happy, I suppose your crummy old trowel would do. So we need the trowel to get through the door. So at least we found out why we actually need the trowel and why he was so obsessed with it. What are you expecting to find behind this door? I think we are looking at pre-cataclysmic remains here, Henry. Ooh, okay, that seems optimistic. So there was maybe some kind of disaster that struck Earth or something. I don't know. We need a little optimism in this job. Okay then, I'll find a way to open that door. Let's get on that. This is a relaxing game, I have to say. But yeah, so far I'm just not very invested. But that's just my personal opinion. So we're going to see if we can find this trowel. So he said it was in the rubble. I actually looked in the rubble. Footprints! And there wasn't anything here, so maybe I just had to like... I know, do some dialogue options first. Interesting, I can make out indentations from the binocular case and heel marks. Okay, so that means it must be either one of the ladies, right? Let's talk to Carlassa, maybe she knows something. Carlassa, where were you between 10 and 11 this morning? It's like a murder investigation. <laughs> All this for a trowel, seriously. Sorry? Total witnessed the binocular case over by the rubble around 10, but an hour later it was gone. Binocular case? I think my trowel was in the binocular case, and I noticed heel marks around there from your heels, Carlotta. Henry, are you accusing me of something? Yes, how, how dare you? I'm just asking questions, ma'am. <laughs> Fine, let me think. Yes, I saw the case. So what did you do with it? It was lying in the rubble and I thought it might get lost, so I gave the case to Micro. What time was that? Around 11.30, I think. No, I'm sure, because Micro was downloading data from the base computer and he got an electric shock. The computer clock stopped at exactly 11.30 at the time I gave him the case. So Micro must have your towel, but if it's in the binocular case, he wouldn't know it. All right, blah, blah, blah. All right, loads of gobbledygook. So we're going to talk to Micro here and see if he has my case. I bet this is one of those quests where he's just given it to somebody else and then I have to go and find them. But sure, let's, let's, let's do this. I need to talk to him. He's not talking to me. That sucks. Uh, I can't see anything down there. Can I put mushrooms down there? Like, it might, like, I don't know, brighten the place up or something. That'd be cool. Just chuck it down there. It's fine. <laughs> Just do it. There we go. Watch out for falling mushrooms, Max. It's raining mushrooms. Damn, I've hit him on the head. <laughs> but now it's illuminated. Crazy how one mushroom can do all that. Because, like, that's, that's pretty impressive. You can see the bottom of the hole now. All right. Yes, Max made it down in one piece. Phew, awesome. Okay, shouldn't you have some kind of radio contact with Max? Uh, we do. But I left the receiver in my other suit. Right, so where were you? Do you have my trowel? I have a witness that saw you handling the binocular case at 11.30. Do you plead guilty? My trowel was in that case. Damn it, Henry, some mysteries are best left buried. Uh, alright. Suspect or accuse? Is this for real? I accuse you. You uh, naughty person, where where did you put my trowel? <laughs> you can't hide it any longer, come clean. All right, okay then, but don't judge me. Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? My lips are sealed, I just want my trowel. Okay then, when Carlotta gave me the binocular case, I saw something shiny inside. I swear I didn't know it was your trowel, but I realised the binoculars weren't in there. Luck is so damn strict about us losing things, I knew he'd be mad about it. Okay, there was nothing I could do except get rid of the case. Are you telling me you destroyed my tap my trowel? Wow, that is really mean. How could you do that? I I hid the case in the rocks near the cave entrance. Hmm, thanks, Micro. I promise I won't tell Locke anything. You're a good friend. All right, then. Well, we have a lead, guys. We can finally find this stupid trout. He said near the entrance, um, somewhere around here, maybe. Mushrooms are so small, I should leave them be. In the box, maybe? Nope, not there. I don't see anything though i better look around oh okay wait i think i found it i didn't think that um i actually found it but that's cool have i found the trowel come on dude you can do it no sign of the case or of my trowel ah oh, wait a second there's a puddle of water here and over there that's chewing gum chewing gum what did total say about chewing gum 
Um, yes, it was this lady over here. She was chewing gum. How did it get stuck in the wall there? Did she put it there? Because that's a really dirty habit, girl. <laughs> okay. Um, well, well, Cobra. Thought she'd gotten away with it. How dare you uh, take my trowel. Are you playing detective again? Didn't you end up getting a dead leg last time? Yes, you may have given me a dead leg, but this time I'm ready for you. <laughs> okay. Oh, go on then. Where were you at 11.30 this morning? I was doing my daily exercises. I like to keep in shape. All right then. I have to get her to confess. All right, overwhelm her with evidence. Use reverse psychology. Intimidate her with a witness testimony. Yes, I'll do that. You're lying, Cobra. Total says he saw you chewing gum at 11 o'clock. You couldn't have finished in time for your exercises. I know you never chew and work out. Weak. <laughs> the only gum in the ration kit is Quick Chew brand. After 30 seconds, it loses all its flavour. Wow, that sucks. Are they evidence? I don't know if I have evidence. I have irrefutable proof that you were at the entrance of the cave at 11.30. What proof? A cigarette butt? A lipstick smudge? Maybe a footprint? Uh, no. I hope it's a footprint. Come on, Cobra. This won't work if you don't play along. Okay, whatever. I'm innocent, your honour. So it looks like we need more proof. All right, reverse psychology. Morning exercises, eh? Sound like, sounds like thirsty work. Keeping hydrated isn't a crime. Of course not. However, there was no water on site, right? So you had to go back to base camp or got your red handed. And when you approached the cave entrance, you found the binocular case. So what if I did? Um, I'm looking for it. Why didn't you just say so? Because I thought you would lie about it. You usually do. I do love to lie, true. So all that and you could have just asked for it. Oh my God. I don't need you to tell me where they are. I can tell just by looking at your face. All right. Oh my god, she's got a twitchy mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was so weird. You're a good liar, but a bad poker player. Caught red-handed. And what's that got to do with anything? What's happening? And why does she keep moving her foot like that? What is that stuff? What's that blue stuff? You get nervous easily. Enough mind games. Right, okay, what's that? Fluorescent powder? What on earth is that? It just came off her hands. I've got it. What? Your hands, they're covered in fluorescent dust. I didn't see it until you got nervous and started moving. Right, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I've got proof. You don't need to say anything, Cobra. All right, this morning you hid my trowel in the binocular case and buried it in the rubble, hoping it would be lost, no doubts. And it would have been if Carlotta hadn't stumbled upon it. Later, when you saw the case with my trowel near the entrance, you knew your plan had failed. You decided to hide it again, this time among the mushrooms. What, really? That's why your hands are completely covered in luminous mushroom spores. So that's what it is. Cobra, cobra, cobra. All this effort just to annoy me. It makes it sound like such a big deal, like it's just a trowel. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, it took hardly any effort. Um, so can I have the trowel, like... Seriously? So she hid it in among some mushrooms. So I guess that we're just going to look like in piles of mushrooms. Okay, so she didn't hide it in this one. I suppose Cobra wouldn't hide it so close to her. All right, well, at least we, we know finally after all that where it is. No matter how much I keep doing it. All right, I didn't mean to press that. I was trying to press the mushrooms. <laughs> all right, anything here? Let's see. No sign of the trowel. So that is a shame. Let's see if we can find some, some other piles here. There's a little pile here. I don't know if that counts. I can't, I can barely even click on it. It keeps going on the hole. All right, mushrooms. There are only four mushrooms. It'll be difficult to hide the trowel there. Well, you never know. Footprints. Dun, dun, dun. What do we have here? Didn't we already find the footprints? I already knew they were there. Like, I don't know why he said about it again. <laughs> I don't know. Have we found it? Hi, Eureka. The search is over. Thank God. <laughs> Another case solved by Detective Dijon. All right, amazing, dude, amazing. <laughs> Don't give up your day job, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go and uh, finally open this door, I guess. Um, oh, I have to, of course, go in my inventory to do this. So we got our trusty little trowel. Can use it on the door. The clay is too hard. I need to soften it with the regent first. Oh, okay. Maybe water or something. 
I wonder how I'm gonna do that. I actually don't know where to where to start with with doing that actually. I need the password for the toolbox. Well, don't tell luck, but I didn't memorize it. I wrote on a piece of paper. Luke takes the password security really seriously. Let me see. All right. Is this the second half? 7823. But that's just the last four numbers. I got the first half already. I just need to remember what it, what it was. Look, we remember the rest. Is it going to... I have the full password. All right. Awesome. So is he going to remember that for me? I'm kind of hoping he does. <laughs> Let's see. Because I don't remember what it was. All right. Awesome. Game does it for me. Eureka. Awesome stuff. Most of the tools must be in use. There must be some useful in amongst these supplies ah okay cool we found something is it the regent aqua dentata water with bites right okay is it in my inventory yes so now we can hopefully get past this door so that would be nice to see what's actually beyond the horizon let's do this let's apply this first let's see hopefully this works it's working nice the clay has softened um but i can't but I still can't remove it with my hands. I need a precision tool to remove it. I need my my trowel. That's okay. I've already gone through the, the headache of getting this for you. This should work. All right, let's see. Will it open? I want to see what's behind this. The clay comes off easily. Let's see what's underneath. Let's see. Hopefully it's something good. Incredible. It has a handle. Open it, Henry. Open it. All right. Let's see what lies beyond. We can see what's behind this door at last. What is it? What? Let's go through. The door is open total. Let's go. It's very dark. We need lanterns. We can't waste any more time. Come on, kids. Let's go, Henry. You first. Can we see what's in here? What? Where, where are we? It's like a cave or something. All right, maybe we'll find some awesome artifacts in here. By the Supreme Squid, this is brilliant. What is it? It's an ancient Muriel, Carlata. This is the real deal. Is it? Okay, what does it say? It's incredible, perfectly preserved. This looks like it says trop. <laughs> this discovery will change history. Seriously? Okay, I'm going to date it. All right, you go ahead, dude. Have fun with that. I wonder how old it is. Is it really ancient? 3,000 years old. What's that little weird frog there by, by the leaf? It's pre-cataclysmic? Of course it's cataclysmic. Don't you see? Uh, I don't see anything. See what? It just says trop. See, that's what I thought it said. Mutro Motropolis. Ah, oh, okay, exactly. The place you were telling me about? Total's lost city. Are you sure about this, Professor? We've been wrong before. It's more than a hunch this time, Cobra. All right, what, what have you got here? Some crazy artifact or something. So this is much tropolis. So this is what they're trying to find, the ancient legendary city. Seems kind of small and ding dingy. This isn't the city, Carlata. It's just a clue showing the way. Exactly. So are you going to look for it? Can I come too? Carlata Metropolis probably doesn't exist outside of Total's imagination. It's Atlantis. It's El Dorado. Ah, a city concealing treasures more than 200 million years old. Oof. Millions? Relics from a time when the world was populated by monsters. They were called Dinotaurs. Oh god, I thought they were just bedtime stories. The legends say their bones lie in Metropolis, and that's all they are, legends. Oh, it's hard to believe a place like Metropolis really existed. Enough scepticism already. Archaeology is about curiosity. It would, it would be a sight to see. I thought... Cobra, what are you doing? Me? Nothing. What's she doing? What's happening? <gasps> Let me go. Total, what's going on? Are you okay? Who turned out the lights? Ah, what? Ouch. Henry, careful. They're over here. Quick, they're getting away. After them. Where's Henry? He must be chasing them. Carlotta, watch out. Stay close to me. Carlotta, damn it, run. I have no clue what's happening, but sure. <laughs> so confused right now. <laughs> to be continued okay yeah i didn't really think much of that one i felt something about it was missing i just didn't feel very interested i thought it looked really cool when i looked at the steam page but i just don't think that this one was for me 
But if you enjoyed it, then be sure to head over to their Steam page and give it a try. It could just be the demo though. I feel like they could have made the demo a little bit more interesting, but maybe there is a lot more to discover in the actual full release. But let's move on to the next game. All right, next we are going to be playing Black Book, which is a dark RPG game, which I thought looked really intriguing. The main character is a sorceress, or I'm not sure if she starts as a sorceress. We might actually like see her change into one as we play through the game. I'm not sure, but the description says something along the lines of the main character has lost her love and she is looking for the black book. I guess it can like revive him. Maybe it's like a necromancer book or something. So yes, dark things are afoot in this game, it seems. So let's try this out. Let me tell you a story. It happened in Sheridan. Thou not far from here, surrounded by wheat fields and pine trees. In that town lived Vasilisa. She was chosen to be brought up to be a Zanatka. That's what we call sorceresses around here. Soon enough, Vasilisa fell in love with a man. Soon, a terrible thing happened. The man killed himself, and no one knew the reason. Those who take their own lives are doomed to an eternity in hell. A truth Vasilisa could not accept. Her teacher, old Egord, gave her the legendary artifact, the Black Book. But will it be able to bring him back? asked Vasilisa. Yes, if you open all seven of its seals, Egord replied. And so, Vasilisa and Egord set out to find a way to unlock the seals interesting setting for sure i'm looking forward to seeing how this goes so we go unlock seven seals in order to resurrect our beloved i'm not sure if this is a good idea like would he still be the same person i don't know these are things that we are going to have to find out by playing i suppose <laughs> So it's very pretty so far. It looks a little cartoony from what I can see here, but I'm looking forward to trying out the combat as well. The combat looks very interesting. It looks like it uses some kind of card system of some kind. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that's like. I've slept badly this night. I've been waiting, hoping for your return, but you did not return. You did not again sit at the table. What are you up to now, my sweetheart? Where are you headed? From relatives from the warm summer you've departed. There is no entrance or exit for you, it seems, from the cold Mother Earth and even no fence of a church to hold on to. Enough! I don't believe you did it to yourself. How could you, how could you kill yourself? I wonder why he did that. It will be well, all will be well. I will take the knowledge from grandpa. I remember what you thought of that, but there is no other choice. I guess he didn't agree with this black book idea when he was alive. I don't know, maybe he didn't like it. I will drag you from that road myself. A little selfish, don't you think? And you can sleep for now. It won't take long. All right, the translation, I think, may need a little work there. <laughs> Wasn't the best English, but I understood it. So I guess that's what matters. All right, so we've got some candles here. Let's uh, click on these. Oh, to turn them on and off. Okay, awesome. There's the grave there. All right, not a holy land this is. All right, it's to, to the crossroads. Let's go near the crossroads. All right, let's see what buttons we have. We This is our menu, so I am just going to save this here real quick. Let's see if we have anything else. All right, we have an inventory. We have artifacts, whatever this is over here. We don't have anything here, so I'm not sure. We also have herbs over there as well. All right, let me see. We have a onomasticon, I think. I think that says, I think that's a C. Okay, so this is kind of like um, extra backstory, I guess, about Mill that stood still. A man from 
Viatica once lived in our village. He told stories. One involved a miller that had to make offerings to the devil or else the devil would have stopped the mechanism of the mill itself. So as an offering, he gave part of his stores of flour, grain and breadcrumbs. So there was a miller. He had to make offerings to the devil or else the mill would stop. So he gave flour, grain and breadcrumbs. On one occasion, he forgot and gave nothing. And then the windmill turned off. All right. So that makes sense. When the man went to investigate, there sat the devil on a grinder, threatening him with his finger outstretched, then vanishing. So the miller gathered some tobacco and threw it at the shadowed corners of the mill at midnight. The windmill started working again again and the devil stopped its mischiefs what why why did tobacco solve all of his problems seriously <laughs> that's not how it works <laughs> all right then um maybe the devil didn't like it i mean i, I can't say i blame him <laughs> all right so we also have something here this colden initiation being a colden is not an is not an easy task. You endure a lot of frightful things. People tell a lot of stories like this one that comes to mind. See a man decided to punish his neighbor for changing the field boundaries of his neighboring farm. So he went to the cauldron and asked, give me a chort to curse my neighbor. The cauldron replied, it won't be easy. Do as I say and you'll have your chorts. All right, he said he had to go to the bathhouse at midnight. He, the guy plucked up his courage took a rifle and his cross. Oh, it is scary at the bathhouse. He loaded his gun with his cross and shot at the hearth. A fiery dog emerged and opened its maw. The only option was to climb inside, okay? And even though his instincts told him to, he did not make the sign of the cross. He remembered at the last moment that if he did, he would lose his hand. All right then, that made absolutely no sense to me, but okay, whatever floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, um, so this is the Cherodian region. We've got all different regions here, I guess. I think this is just information about the different regions in the world and stuff. So this is the map here. Um, this is my location. I can't like scroll around or like look any further than this it seems it looks kind of big from what i can see here but i'm not sure all right so this is the black book apparently it's out of reach for some reason perhaps i don't have it yet um i'm not sure i have no idea so um there is adam's head herb over here what what exactly is this adam's head helps from light wounds Okay, so it restores your life, restores five life, apparently. All right, then let's go see what's out here. Let's see. I really love the way the game looks, though. It's just a shame about the translation. It seems that they really need to work on the translation issues. There's a lot that is really difficult to understand. And yes, really um, ruins the experience, to be honest with you. But that's something I'm sure they can easily fix. I'm sure, I'm sure they can they can work on that so we've got a field or the crossroads here let's go to the field over here i want to see if she's kind of stuck um hey girl uh why are you running into the fence stop that <laughs> doing i can't get her off the f okay there we go <laughs> she didn't want to go that way so all right we'll go the other way instead <laughs> she just constantly just walked into the fence <laughs> All right then, how to become a witch. That's just what I want to know. How to become a witch 101. Yes, please teach me magical powers. All right, the darkness of the night is filled with anticipation. You're at Mikhail's crossroads along with old Igor. You know the ritual has to be done, but you never thought of what may happen once it is complete. However, the time to draw the circle has come. All right, let's look around, I suppose. So is this this Igor? Okay, this is this Igor dude. Hey dude, how you doing? Oh, I love this. Oh wow, the art style for this is gorgeous. I love this. 
Wherever have you been? It will be midnight soon. Go over there by that mile post. There is everything you need for the ritual over there. Take the candles. We will light them and draw the circle. You need to do all this to become a witch? My god, it seems like some cultist ritual or something. It doesn't sound like a good idea if you ask me. All right, what's, what's this over here? A herb? Let's take that. Okay, another one of those things. So that's cool. The crosses here look old. It looks like they buried people here long ago. I see. All right, let's have a look over this side. I saw something over here. All right, I need the candles. So we've got some candles here. It gives three of these blue things, whatever that is, maybe mana or something. I have no idea. Apparently they defend you from devils, so that's cool. So that's just a little signpost. Didn't he say something about the, the signpost? I'm sure he said something about this, but I'm not sure what... what what he said actually there's some creepy eyes looking at us from the distance how creepy all right i'm just gonna go and talk to this old man again and see what he says hopefully he's not disappeared all right well done oh, okay let's draw the circle that's all i needed be careful not to leave any gaps otherwise we will be crushed by the devils yeah we do not want that let's draw this crazy ritual circle i'm a little worried about what this is going to entail but okay let's do this let's see what happens um hopefully we we survive this i've made a circle is it all right grandfather the circle is drawn no gaps good too late to dither now you think that i can help him sure you can you can do anything when you have the book so says the legend well go on it is time for you to take my knowledge long time we've spent together parting with it is both hard and sweet well take it so we spent a long time with the book and that parting with it is um difficult but also sweet at the same time so uh, okay then <laughs> i don't know what he's been doing with this thing god it's shaking this is uh i don't know if i want to open this but <laughs> all right i don't i don't like this <laughs> i don't like what's happening here i feel nervous for my 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 girl here like she looks so innocent. Why would you get into this? I suppose if you had the opportunity to bring your loved one back to life, you would at least um, think about it. Would you look at that? What power blasts from the book? What sorcery? What power? What is this? The seal is open. It seems great sorcery lurks in you. Well, think about it later. Um, okay. Why later? Why not now? Now, speak the words I taught you. All right, I'm scared. Help me. Don't know if I can do it. Don't fret, Fazia. If you run, you'll perish. Oh, God. So come on, speak the words. So if you don't do it, you'll die. That, um, I'm not sure about this. I shall get up and not make the sign of the cross, but I shall go to the crossroads. On the crossroads, I shall draw a circle and step into it, and I shall speak. Good merchants, come and... What? Good merchants, come and buy my cat? What, what is she talking about? For the cat gives me not an inconvertible ruble nor a fine hat, but bestow me with the knowledge of the dark and eyes with vision sharp. And I said so it will be, my words are stone. Right, okay, I think that was the incantation, but it was weird, so okay. Here are your merchants. Now listen carefully if you value your life. That doesn't look like a merchant to me, but okay. To become a witch, you have to defeat this demon. All right, that's all I need to know. Time for your first spell. All right, we've got some spells here. Welcome to your first battle. The battle consists of turns. First it is your turn, then the turn of your enemies. You will win when you defeat all the enemies. Okay, this is the black book. It contains all your words that make up your spells. Now try reading your first word called Urazati. All right, then press end turn to read a spell interesting so it is turn based cool so um well there's kind of cards you can see it kind of looks like cards um in the book but that's cool how the book actually is something you use in combat too so that's pretty awesome um we have this urizari thingy so let's use this it does spell damage all right, go. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea. And then end turn. I think, I think I've done it right. All right, we did some damage. Awesome stuff. <laughs> okay. 
and we defended. The word that was read is now overwritten. The black book changes each word after they are read. Okay. Words with defense effect absorb any enemy damage. Okay, cool. So we won't take damage. It's like a shield then. Defense reduces the damage but remains active only until the end of turn. Read the word Avdelai with defense effect. All right, let's do this. Um, can I do multiple? Oh, I can turn the page. I can't turn the page. Hmm, interesting. And I've got my herbs over there. I can't turn the pages right now, but I guess that's how you change like your moves and stuff. So we're going to absorb damage. I don't know what he's going to do, but I'm sure it's going to be nasty. All right there. So he did no damage to us at all. <laughs> Such enchanted words protect from the demons, but this protection fades quickly. Now strike the demons with your words with your spells. Okay. So each turn you may read several words. You can read three words which is indicated by empty places near the top of the screen right cool word types consist of orders and keys at the moment you can use two orders and one key the book has bookmarks which, which can help you find necessary words all right let's try this out then so we have a bookmark here and here so this is how we swap between urazi and or delay or i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right what is this key thing um i don't actually know what this does we have different moves here so i'm kind of curious to try these out so I'm, i want to know what they do and then i'm gonna do some skills from here as well i guess i'll defend or something i don't know let's just go with that and see what happens <laughs> So we've got an attack spell, and then this is the defense one. I don't know if he's even going to attack me. I guess no. I guess I should probably use that last, right? I didn't even know what that last one was, honestly. Um, okay, I defended. Awesome. Um, the demon is nearly gone. Already? I only attacked him, like, twice. A couple more spells to rid the world of it. That is a weak demon. <laughs> The black book helps you in understanding the enemy. You can see what an enemy's intention is. Oh, okay. Carefully consider enemy intentions to foil their plans. All right, so he's going to attack me. All right, interesting. But don't I have to use all my turns first? So wouldn't it be best to, like, um, use... What are these? Deals three damage while ignoring the shield. All right, I'm going to use this. And then wouldn't it be best to have, like, a defense or something? My skills have all changed. Like, I don't even know where my defense is now. It's this one. I can't use it. So you, maybe you can only use, like, one thing from each, like, bookmark or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, I'm going to end turn. We're going to go with this. He's nearly dead anyway, apparently. So... <laughs> Let's just see what happens. Uh, I still got full life, so we're we're good right now. I don't know what that did. I have no clue. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. He just died. <laughs> that was so easy. I mean, I know it was the first enemy and everything, but he looked so impressive, and he just died and just so easily. All right, you're dead now, damn wolf. I can see that. Well, now enter this moor. You'll be a witch as soon as you return. Well, have a white road. Um, all right, the gates of hell. Don, don, don. Let's uh go. I, I guess. Oh my. Oh dear. This is not good. Turn back. Turn back, girl. You don't want to be a witch after all. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Hopefully this went well. Are we now a fully fledged witch? Can I now decimate all my foes? That would be nice, huh? Okay, so let's continue. We are now in hell, so kind of curious about what we're going to find in here. Are we going to find the devil himself, maybe? Maybe, maybe. Oh, is that the devil? Is that you, Vasilia? Who are you? A question mark. I should congratulate you. The first seal is open. Only six left. Wow, that was quick. Okay. But will you be able to open the rest? This is another matter entirely. Okay. Who are you? What the devil are you? How rude, Vasilia. I am your chief advisor. It is I who grants you your sorcerer's power. Oh, I see. So you're like the thing residing in the book? We will be acquainted more closely in the future, I assume. Okay, they have good ideas with this game. I really like the idea. It kind of reminds me of Black Clover a little bit. Do you think they took inspiration from that? <laughs> it's kind of the same concept, actually. 
All right, so we have the wish. I'm curious, can the black book grant any wish? Indeed, it is as the legends dictates. Who knows, maybe you will soon meet your beloved one. Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? No one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. Right, okay, so no one's able to look into this random scroll. Okay, how do I open the seals? Oh, can't you figure it out by yourself? I am disappointed in you. Well, sorry. All right, let me return to the land of the living. Not just yet. Have you forgot your purpose? I name you a witch. How many demons do you take for your service? Well, one or as, as many as possible, of course. Well, I will surely need the help of demons, so give me as many as possible. Ah, that's the spirit. But you are still too weak. Soon you will have three imps in your command. That is enough for now. Now go. Maybe we will meet again. We get to control imps. Cool, okay. This is intriguing. Oh gosh, what's happening now? Are we going back? I think we're going back. And now we are back in the world of the living. I much prefer the, the world of the living than hell because that was a little freaky. All right, I'm back, Mr. Igor. How are you doing, dude? Oh, he spotted us. Well, are you awake? The sun came up while you were coming to your senses. I've dragged you home. I understand that it is not easy to walk through the devil's world. So you've seen it? Are we home? Seems like I was in a dream. The devil made me a witch. Then this is a good day. Yeah. Did I not tell you? You should have been a witch a long time ago. What's this? New Bailichika. What? What's that? Well, what's done is done. The legend tells that the wish is beyond seven seals. I could never open the first one. Here's the second seal, the Aspen one. You're just going to give it to me like that? Like that easily? How do I open it? Maybe it was that demon on the crossroads that did it. Maybe. I think that demon plays a part, but what spirit is the Aspen one? I'll have to rack my head a bit. Maybe there's something in the books. You are now a witch yourself. I knew that you would not let me down. The news of your enlightenment has been spreading. Must be... Oh, I can put my mouse over it. Sue said, Co? House spirit Hobgoblin lives under the hearth or in Golbeck cellar. Right, so there's supposed to be some kind of like Slavic folklore in this game. So I'm assuming that's what that's about. Who told the family heads? Okay, now people will come to you for advice. I am old already, not many teeth left and not a lot of witch power. Okay. Now it is you who will help the people around here. Perhaps you will even bump into the right demon for your quest. While you were coming to your senses, I've already spoken to, the, to most of the visitors. There's only one left. He's waiting behind the door. Look around for a start. Your book is over there on the table. You remember me teaching you the book arts? Afterwards, hear that visitor... The wicked one has been giving him trouble. No, I don't have it all. I have no idea what you're talking about. Right, let's get to work. I don't want to listen to any more of your dialogue, sorry. <laughs> I just don't understand half of it. <laughs> Search for spirits around the district. Maybe we'll be lucky with the seals. We should not tarry. Okay, maybe after 40 days have passed, we won't be able to help. What? Why not? God helps. What? Say what? <laughs> okay, then. Okay, I think I've had enough of this demo for now. It's just, um, the translation really affects it a lot, in my opinion. I can sort of make out what they're trying to say, but it just kind of ruins the experience, in my opinion. They really need to work on the translation for this. Other than that, like it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool concept i love the art style and i love the idea behind it the combat seemed pretty cool um it just that the first boss seemed to die really easily and maybe it was just because it was teaching you how to play and stuff but i was surprised that i died in like two hits <laughs> So I feel like they have a lot of work to do on this one for sure. Maybe I will come back to it like another time when they have done more work on it. But for now, I'm gonna move on. It's a shame because when I actually saw this in the E3 replacement stream, it looked really good. Um, but obviously they... Uh, 
didn't show all these translation issues. So playing it for myself is a completely different experience from what I saw from the videos. I guess that happens sometimes in games though. I usually give an overall on my favourite game from the stream, but honestly, today's games weren't what I was expecting, <laughs> for sure. I guess out of the three, I was intrigued by the first game, the, the Strangeness game, but it was really short to make an opinion, to be honest with you. And the the second game of the other point and click game, Muttropolis, I think has potential and could be fun, but I think what they gave us in the demo was definitely not the high point. I think that they could have added a more interesting segment of their game, in my opinion and it was just a little bit too wordy. But that's it for this video. I just want to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreons for supporting the channel. It really helps me out. Thank you so much. If you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description and it's only $1 a month to gain access. I am uploading exclusive anime review videos only on Patreon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.